Hi there, mommy. If you have flat or inverted nipples, it can be difficult to breastfeed, but it's not impossible. Sometimes moms are told that they just won't be able to breastfeed, but that's not true. It's really rare that a mom with flat or inverted nipples can't breastfeed. Sometimes she just needs a little help. So today I'm gonna go over how to tell if you do have flat or inverted nipples, and if so, what are some things you can do about it? Are you ready? Let's go. I'm Mary Cahill, and I'm a certified lactation counselor. I help mommies to be confident and successful in their breastfeeding journey. First off, let's decide if you do have a flat or inverted nipple. If you, on your nipple, take and just roll it between your fingers a little bit, push in next to your nipple, do some rolling. If your nipple pops out a little bit, then you don't have a flat or inverted nipple. If it puckers in, pulls in, and you see a little bit of puckering, then that would be an inverted nipple. And it's not the end of the story. You can still breastfeed. It just may be a little bit more of a challenge. And most moms with that will usually just have one side that's more inverted. And so baby might prefer the other side. So here's some things you can do if you do have a flat or inverted nipple. When a mom's nipple is inverted, it's because of a little bit of adhesion. So the nipple is a little bit attached inside and just isn't stretching out. So if you know that you have this during pregnancy, you can start working with it to stretch it out now. Um, but if not, if you've already had baby, you can do that now too. If you're starting to work on your nipple while you're still pregnant, just a gentle way to work on it is some reverse pressure. And that's just by pushing in, around, and on your nipple just to help to stretch that out. This is really helpful in that third trimester when your skin is real elastic to get that to stretch out. You'll notice the change in your skin because you'll notice your areola has gotten darker in that third trimester and your nipple is a little bit more elastic. So this is a great time to start working on stretching that out for a flat and inverted nipple. Moms with an inverted nipple say that after a couple of weeks of breastfeeding that their nipple pops right out. So it really will pop out. Another way is if you have just, you're just flat, not real inverted flat is to wear um, boob shells, they're called, or milk collectors, and there's different brands. I really like this brand from Mommy's Love, and I'll put links to all my things below. But this is what moms wear in their bra to collect drips, or if they have painful nipples, it lets air be around there, but it also will help your nipple to be not flat and be help it to be a little bit erect. So you just wear this in your bra, and you can start wearing this in pregnancy, and you can wear this in between nursing sessions, especially um, just before baby latches, just to help that nipple to pop out a little bit. So this isn't for someone with an extremely inverted, but if you just have a little bit of an issue, these really will help. Next would be, if you're a little more inverted, would be nipple correctors. And so these are just little hat looking things and you just squeeze some of the air out of that and put it on your nipple. Let the air go and it will attach to your nipple and start to pull your nipple out. You can kind of see in here, my skin gets pulled out in there and it has a lot of suction. Um, I don't think it's horribly painful, but if you have really sensitive nipples, it may be quite a bit for you. And you could just wear those for about 10 to 20 minutes before baby latches. And that really helps to pull that nipple out. You can kind of see on my arm where it's pulled that out just a little bit. But these are really helpful if you're a little more inverted. The next would be a nipple shield. And this is a last alternative, I feel like, for moms. So don't go right to a nipple shield because it can be so hard to get off of the nipple shield once you've been using it. And the reason why a nipple shield is great is that it gives baby something to grab onto. So it works pretty good. Plus baby will start to nurse and it can start to pull your nipple out. But like I said, sometimes it's hard to get baby to latch without it. Because this sticks out just a little bit, it goes in the roof of baby's mouth and baby will feel that and want to latch on. Baby has natural reflexes. So if you tickle your baby's 
nose with your nipple or face on either side, babies turn and root for the breast. It's a natural reaction. If baby has something on the roof of their mouth, their natural reaction will be to start sucking, okay, if something's in their mouth. You can use your pinky finger with the pad on the roof of baby's mouth and let baby suck on it, tap the top of the roof of their mouth, and let baby suck for just a few seconds and then go right to the breast and baby will be in that sucking mode still. So you can skip the nipple shield and just use your pinky and let baby suck on your pinky for just a few seconds first. That really helps for a lot of babies then to latch. If that's not working, you can go to the nipple shield on your breast. And once baby starts latching and starts drinking, then you can take the nipple shield off real quick and try to latch baby again without. If baby's having a hard time, we want to get as much breast tissue in baby's mouth as possible. It's called breastfeeding, not nipple feeding. So if you only have the nipple in baby's mouth, it's hard for baby to latch. It's hard for baby to get enough milk out. It's hard for baby to drain your milk out so that you don't get a clogged duct and it can be painful. So the nipple should be far back in baby's mouth, not just out front. Baby should have lots of breast tissue in their mouth. You want to start with baby with their nose at your nipple so that their head leans back and that gets a wider mouth open and they get more breast tissue in. The nipple should go back into the roof of baby's mouth and and um, so you see more of the areola at the top, but most of the bottom of the areola should be in baby's mouth. That way baby's gonna get that wide open mouth. Baby should always be their whole body flat up against yours, tummy to tummy. They shouldn't be turned up, sunny side up at all with their head turning, they need to be in tight to you. And I have a video on latch that I'll link right here that will go into more detail that's very important for a newborn to get a really great position to be able to get a lot of breast tissue in their mouth. Then when you're latching baby, if you have a flat or inverted nipple, you'll probably need to sandwich your breasts a little bit. In sandwich, like you're eating a sandwich, you wanna go the same direction as baby's mouth, not the opposite. So when you sandwich your breast and you bring baby in, your thumb should be on the same side as baby's nose. So you're sandwiching it the same direction as baby's mouth, mouth not the opposite. So sandwich your breast. And when you sandwich it, you don't want your fingers in the way because you don't want baby to not be able to get a lot of breast tissue in there. So you're going to be right at the outside of your areola. And you're not sandwiching and pulling out towards baby like you're milking a cow. You're pushing in towards your chest wall and a little bit of a sandwich, and that helps your nipple to pop out. So in towards your chest wall and then a little bit of a squeeze to help baby to be able to latch on that popped out nipple. Have you seen those funny videos where dad's holding baby and baby will latch onto dad's bare chest or onto dad's face? A baby has great suction like an eel. And even with a flat or inverted nipple, most babies can draw that out and can latch really well. If you're having trouble, be sure to ask for help right away. Don't put it off. Get some help. If one lactation counselor isn't able to help you, then move on and find someone else you know, be sure to get all the help that you need to get baby latched. Sometimes a newborn may need to have their milk in a bottle. You might have to pump for a short while, but keep trying to latch baby every feeding. Sometimes a baby has to be fed with a supplemental nursing system, and that's where baby's at your breast, but a tube is feeding baby, so they don't have to work to get it out so much. But whatever it takes to try to get baby to breast and as often as possible, then that will help baby to get in the rhythm of wanting to breastfeed at the breast. Another thing to remember is if you get stressed and baby gets stressed, that will really add to it and make it even harder to latch baby. So do what you can to calm baby down first before going to the breast. Uh, try to get to baby before they're upset, before they're super hungry. So get to baby early and get baby on the breast. If baby does get upset and they're crying, hold them skin to skin and calm them down first and be open to giving baby your breast milk in a bottle, you know, and get them past the hungry stage so they're not hangry and you can try to get them to the breast again. If baby is crying, their tongue is actually pulled in a little bit and we need baby's tongue out so they can get a wide mouth open and get more breast tissue in. 
So it's important to calm baby down before trying to latch. I hope this video was super helpful for you, mommy. If it was, can you do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up? That way this video will get shown to more mommies who are having struggles with flat or inverted nipples. Let me know, are you dealing with flat or inverted nipples? Have you had baby yet? And how's it going? I want to know. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this.